the internal machinations of the optimizer. What do I mean by internal machinations? The plot behind the optimizer. Well, it's not really an evil plot, but it's the way in which the optimizer guesses at how it should execute SQL code in the fastest way. There are, in general, a few different ways that the optimizer will assess and decide to read things in the database, either from the database buffer cache or I.O. or both. The way the optimizer decides to read tables. There are different types of table scans. It can either full table scan or it can access a single or a small set of rows in a table using row IDs gained from the scan of an index. The second option using the row ID table scan from an index is generally the more efficient option. However, for small static data tables, quite often the optimizer will decide to read the entire table. Imagine that a table with 100 rows and a small number of columns occupying a single block. Since reading the index and reading the table and accessing using a row ID effectively reads two blocks, it can quite often be more efficient to read the entire table simply by reading a single block. Quite often the optimizer will decide to do that. As I said, particularly with small tables, small numbers of rows, generally static data. Additionally, the user can force or suggest to the optimizer to use a full table scan using something like a hint. Different types of index scans. There are full index scans, there are index range scans and there are index unique scans. What are the different types of index scans? Let's go through them briefly. Well actually a full index scan, there are actually two types of full index scan. The first one is a basic full index scan which will read the index in the order in which the index is created. In other words, you index a table on column A, it's going to read from that index in the order of column A, which may not necessarily be the way in which the index is written to disk. There is a subsidiary type of full index scan called a fast full index scan. It simply reads the entire index from disk without bothering about the order. In other words, it scans the index in physical order, which simply reads all the leaf blocks without going through a depth first search into the structure of the index and finding the indexes in the given order that was created when the index was generated. An index range scan is typically used with things like between or greater than, less than, etc, etc. An index unique scan is used when you use equality, such as where x equals y. It should be noted that an index unique scan is only used for single row access. If you were to access a table and even say where x equals y, if there are 200 values of y, in other words 200 rows that equal the equality comparison match, then you still can execute a range scan. You cannot execute a unique scan unless you're finding a single row. There are some unusual and less often used index scans, namely a reverse order range scan, a skip scan and a fast full index scan that I've already mentioned. A reverse order range scan simply scans the index in reverse order. Not actually a descending key scan, it actually scans a reverse key index. A skip scan actually allows you to skip prefix columns in composite keys. In other words, where a composite key is indexed on three tables in a column, a skip scan can actually read the second and third columns in the index and ignore the first column. As I already said, a fast full index scan is an index read physically from disk disregarding the order of the index. Quite often a lot faster than a standard full index scan when the entire index is read.